so many so many good IPs that kind of shaped the course of the the video game industry for decades to come came out in 98. I mean, here we are almost 20 years later and you're still playing sequels of games that came out technically came out for the first time in 1998. Metal Gear Solid was one of them. That's a big one. Come on, I need to kill these guys. Oh, this is trouble. This is becoming trouble. There we go. Metal Gear Solid is the big one. Oh, but there's so many other, like, fantastic games that came out in 98. Yeah! Oh, shit! The first Rainbow Six came out in 98. Oh, there we go. He's dead. And he dropped a great belt. Hell yeah. Got any other new shit I can use? That is a Templar Relic. That's cool. I can start loading him up with stuff. Man, I need to get a better one-hand uh, weapon on him. Because he can be doing a lot more damage. I really like how they rebalanced um, followers for this expansion. Because um, you can only really get them so powerful in the uh, vanilla Diablo 3. But in this one, you can get them as powerful as you so that they're actually a viable option to bring along. As opposed to just going straight to co-op. folly of our arrogance. I will be dead soon as well. Our greed was our downfall. Because there's a... What's the word I'm looking for? There was a point at the end of D3 Vanilla where you would be leveling up your, your follower and incre or he wouldn't level up anymore basically he wouldn't get the paragon benefits that you would right um, but you could only give him such good gear and it got to a point where you couldn't really fuck what's the word I'm looking for here I can't think of what I'm trying to say because it's late and I'm tired because I'm a sissy I get up at 5 every day Anyways, there was a point where you could basically increase their life so they could, you know, sit there and hold their own, but they wouldn't really do much damage whatsoever. I mean, by the end of by the end of the game, you would be doing, you know, 13 times the damage that you would be able to get a follower to do, and it's just like, well, what's the fucking point? I'm, you know, there's no point in using anybody other than the Templar at this point because then he's just a body to stop enemies from getting to you. Alaric says that our people can survive the coming battle. And that's not how I want to play. I mean, you put this cool follower system in here as opposed to the mercenary system you got in Diablo 2, which was cool, but... I don't know, really, really basic. The expansion kind of expanded upon it. Wow, that's a terrible use of English. The expansion elaborated upon the system and gave you more incentive to keep one follower around. But I really like how they switched it in this game so that you only have a couple followers and they have a backstory and then you can get to explore their backstory and help them with it in the expansion, which is fucking awesome. Um, and then they can be as powerful as you by the end of the expansion as long as you're giving them the right gear, etc. It's too bad they don't share your Paragon uh, stuff because that would be really cool if you could level them up that way as well and keep them viable for like single player bounty raids or bounty raids single player bounties in adventure mode um, but you can't so you just gotta keep giving them in incrementally better gear yeah yeah they re they definitely reached the plateau they got to a point where it's just like oh well you're never gonna be any better than you are so even though I'll keep improving oh and I talked about it last stream but the Paragon friggin system in this one the overhaul for that is so goddamn good like is it, it's that in adventure mode is exactly what this game needed to basically become one of those games that you could play forever and ever and ever. Like, I have a buddy who, he still has a 360, but he has the 360 version of this game. And he, he only plays Diablo 3. He has a couple other games, but that's the only one he plays. And it's great. 
Because eventually he's going to pick up an Xbox One, then we can roll together. And do awesome rift bounties. He actually lived with me for a couple months. He, his name's Tony. He does uh, Let's Plays with me. You can check out over on uh, my Wu Tang Chicken channel. Yeah, dude, we're playing uh, hardcore. Hardcore solo on hard difficulty, as you can see up in the top left corner of the screen. Um, and hopefully we'll get to level 70, but if I die, I die. There we go. Help that I can't shoot off the top of this plateau. I like skills. I like skills that vault through the air. I like skills that I can kind of lob, because then I can get them over, or that rain down from the heavens. You know what I mean? Because then I can get them over obstacles and stuff, and kind of, you know, cheaty my way out of having to actually fight an enemy because I can just kind of sit back and. Uh, uh, I do have level 70s. I have a level 70 Crusader. Um, that's uh, Paragon level 484. Um, shit, shit, shit. Uh, here we go. Here's the main. There are the other bosses in this area. Um, but he's just a regular character. He's not hardcore. Um, I will do... Eventually I'll be doing uh, a Rift streams. Probably later in the week. During the day. Uh, I actually have a buddy who wants to check him out. Uh, he's kind of on the fence about buying this game. No matter, oh shit, I thought I had died. I saw the screen just like suddenly shift and I was like, oh, uh oh. <laughs> but uh, I told him I'd stream some bounties for him so he could see the end game content. Because he played three and he's like, if it's just running through the same story mode over and over, I'm going to be pissed off. Because that did get annoying in the previous version of this game where you're just running through it again in order to finish off your character levels. No, yeah, this is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This is a virgin hardcore run. I don't have any gear I'm getting from another character to help me out or anything like that. It's just me and my uh, gazongas here against the whole goddamn world. What now do you Welcome to the stream, by the way. Anybody who just joined us, uh, it looks like we've got a, a good group of people in here. The spirit speaks the truth. Let's see. The noble hey, girl. Fought her way here just to die. You again. And who is this you bring with you? Adria's daughter. I like how the the she demon hunter, the female version, is kind of a bitch. And then no, Magda's kind of a bitch, so we get these, like, you know, mean girls-esque bitch fights. And yes, I did just make a reference to the Lindsay Lohan vehicle mean girls. Fuck that movie. That girl cousins made me watch that movie. And granted, it was technically a good movie. It was still kind of like, man, why am I watching this fucking movie? I could be watching Robocop for, like, the hundredth time. Yo, Robocop is fantastic. If you have play, if you haven't seen RoboCop, jump out of the stream right now. Go find RoboCop and watch it. It's the perfect '80s movie. Like that and Commando are my two favorite '80s movies. For like completely different reasons, because even though uh, RoboCop does have some funny tongue-in-cheek stuff, it's uh, it's still kind of a pretty serious movie, and you know there's. Billions of. I need to go back to Tristram. Okay, um, it's it's a super serious, hyper violent movie with all sorts of uh, Magda is close on like our Jesus heels. references and reference to uh, what's his face. Yo, we got a freaking good in the freaking chat. What's up, Stacks? What's up? Oh shit! I didn't mean to hit that. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going over here. So, yeah, now we got some lively stuff, too. The remake, yeah, the remake was not the steaming pile of shit I expected it to be. It wasn't, it definitely wasn't as good as the source material, because, I mean, you kind of can't top a movie like that. But, uh, yo, yes, Arnold has some of his best lines ever in Commando. Commando is, is friggin', oh, it's so good. Yo, if you want to play Reaper of Souls sometime, hit me up. Send me a friend request. Um, I'm on pretty much throughout the day because I'm 
uh, furloughed at the moment. I work uh, seasonal down in Antarctica. Yes, I'm sure someone's going to be asking me about that now. So uh, this is kind of my time off, so I kind of have plenty of time to stream and play around throughout the day and have fun and go running. I ran six miles today. I didn't expect to run six miles, and then by the time I got to my turnaround time, I was like, oh, shit, it's... Uh, I just ran three miles, so I guess I'm running three miles back. Fuck it. So it's uh, a lot of fun. Yo, yeah, I've seen you on Hardline all damn day. You, that, uh, that game's got to be a lot of fun. I'm not personally not picking it up, because I, I think I can only handle really one, you know, first-person shooter, multiplayer. I hate to say Call of Duty-esque, but Call of Duty-esque game, because that's kind of what Battlefield's devolved into. Although this looks like a really... Hardline looks like a really fun take on the formula. Um, it seems like they're definitely having a lot of fun with it, with all the uh, with all the Easter eggs and shit I've seen them put in. Um, I'm sure you've seen online, like on Facebook, the... Uh, the gifts of the funny reloading stuff or the guys riding around on the America couch. Um, if you haven't seen the, the America couch, fuck you. Go Google America couch right now. Or just America, M-E-R-I-C-A. It's uh, two British guys and they discover the couch car in... Uh, in one of the uh, or one of the multiplayer maps in Battlefield Hardline, it's a couch, and one guy sits on it and drives, and like literally drives the freaking couch around, and the other guy uh, sits on the couch and can fire his weapon, kind of like the passenger seat in a uh, in a car, and whenever you hit somebody or whenever you hit somebody with the couch, instead of saying like you know roadkill or something like that, it just says America. Oh shit. I am completely out of resources. This is, uh, this is bad. Oh shit, oh shit, oh panicking, I'm panicking. Oh god. Oh, I think, I think I'm gonna be fine now that I have my hatred back up. I'm still, I'm still in panic mode and that's a never good thing to be when you're playing hardcore. God damn, resource resentment, re resource management can be kind of a shit, shit, shit. Ooh. Okay, there's one down. I was uh, sitting in half health and not uh, not regening for a second there. I thought that might have been it. That would have been sad. <laughs> that would have been sad for it to end here. The of an ancient sword fell near this village recently. Perhaps you have seen it. We found it days ago. I love games that I give you a pistol as a viable option Come. for I left playing the game. It and obviously, you know, you can't use it at range, but my favorite right now is the uh, the smart pistol in Titanfall. You know, obviously I picked up the uh, Xbox One late, but I definitely wanted to check out Titanfall, so I did. And I, the past couple days, I've just been going in with the smart pistol. I had uh, I had the enhanced targeting on, and that kind of made it difficult for me to. Uh, While you were on ah, shit! It kind of made it more difficult for me to uh, uh, fight pilots with it, because even though the lo lock on time was shorter, I didn't have the you know the larger aiming reticle. But uh, after I took that off, I mean, I was going you know 14 and four pilot kills versus deaths in games, not to mention you know Titan kills and stuff like that. And just having that pistol in the game, yeah, the smart pistol is such a fucking awesome gun. And get out of here, when you play fucking Frontier Defense, that thing is the best. Like, hands down, the best for Frontier Defense. Which is a really awesome kind of horde mode that they threw in the game, because it doesn't last forever, case, but it definitely, the difficulty the ratchets up and there's a lot of fun, cool stuff to get oh in there. Dear, and it's dear. cool that it goes towards your regular multiplayer progression. I actually just uh, prestiged for the first time in Titanfall uh, today. That was pretty cool. I thought that was fun. Um, I went in and just started going nuts with the smart pistol at that point, and I think... Within three matches, I was already up to level 10. So, they, they're they killing the shit out of Kane, which is bad, by the way. You know, just in case anybody's actually paying attention to, uh, you, you know,